Hey everyone, welcome back to another Flutter tutorial. In this video, we will learn how to change the default Google map marker into a custom marker in our Flutter app and at the same time, we will also learn how to add the marker info. Let's continue the today's video. If you have followed my previous tutorial, you have learned how to integrate a Google map in Flutter app, both the Android and iOS device. In today's video, we are going to change the default marker to a custom marker and we have also added the marker info as well that you have already shown is in demo. You are going to change the Google map marker. I'm hoping that you have already set up the project and add the API key. If you have any problem on this, then you can follow my previous tutorial. I have already instructed how you can create a developer account on Google map, enable for Google map on Android and iOS, generate the API key and add this API key in our project. After you have set up this all, continue the today's video for change the default to custom marker in Google map. Let's enable the zoom and restart the app. Can see this is the area that I have provided in the in my current location for a default marker. Here is the marker parameter inside the Google map marker. Inside this marker, you need to provide a marker ID. You can provide anything inside this. I'll provide the marker ID. After this marker ID, you need to provide the position. Inside this position, you can provide latitude and longitude. But I have already created here. I'll provide this position. And you can see. Here is the default marker. You can zoom it. This is the default marker that provided by Google map and let's make it draggable. By default, it is false. After you have set up the draggable to you and, and define the on drag in, you can easily drag this marker. Let's try. You can see. You can drag this marker. After this, let's define the, some info. Inside this, there is a two parameter title, title of the marker and snap it. After you have provided the info window and if you click on the marker, you can see it's provide the information about this marker. You can set any information now after this default marker and we have set the some information about marker. Now we have code for the custom marker. First, we need to define the variable to store the custom marker. After this variable, we need one function to set a custom marker icon. You can give any name to this function. I'll give the custom marker. Inside this function, here is the bitmap, bitmap descriptor dot assets. We are going to set the default marker by using the assets. We have stored the image locally and display on it. That is the image configuration first. And second is that we have provided the address of this custom marker. For this image, I have created one folder, asset folder. Inside this asset folder, I have the image. I'll provide the three images, but we have used just one image in this video. You can see this is the image that we have used and most important things you need to keep in your mind. Image must be the very small. If you have used the 1080 by 1080 image, then you have faced the error. It is unable to display. You have just used the 64 by 64 image or 128 by 128 image. More than this size, you have unable to display it. And we have also defined this image inside the pubspec.yml. And after that, we have defined the address of this image. After we have provided the address of this image, then we need to update the state. That is the set state to update the state. And we have provided this custom icon into this icon. That's it. And one last is we need to call the function that says the custom marker for this that is the init state. Inside this init state, we have defined the custom marker function. We have complete all the required steps to display the custom marker. 
then the last step is we need to define this function after this info marker inside the marker icon parameter we need to define the custom icon save it and restart the app here you can you have successfully changed the default marker into a custom marker you can drag this marker as well can see and if you click on this marker here is the info of this marker you can change this info according to your requirement and app condition by this way you can easily change the default marker into a custom marker in our flutter app okay that's it for today's video in upcoming video we have explore more feature of google map bye bye